Today we'll talk about benign breast diseases. So development of uh, the breast starts with the pulse estrogen exposure causes the rapid growth and elongation and branching and term preg terminal pregnancy leads to terminal differentiation and stops the growth and end bud epithelial tissue undergoes the cyclic proliferation. Breastfeeding is associated with the lower risk of breast cancer. That's very important to understand. Involution, the changes of involution of the benign um, after the cessation of the lactation and continues through the menopause and completing involution and proliferative processes are patchy and increase with the perimenopause and with HRT. Hyperplasia with aplasia and uh, DCIS peak is, is seen in this period. So it is the spectrum of diseases that are uh, histologically uh, uh, variable and Normal breast anatomy with no evidence of malignancy and histopathological examination is classified as the benign breast disease. It includes congenital anomalies, inflammation, ANDI, and normal breast diseases. So the importance, they are 10 times more frequent than the carcinoma and patients and presenting to the physician. Unlike carcinoma, they are painful conditions. That's why the patient is more concerned. 70% of the lumps are benign, but 30% can have malignancy or malignant potential. So, 10, 10 times uh, more frequent than carcinoma, and 70% of the lumps are benign, and 30% can have malignancy and gives anxiety and stress to the patient. Mostly requires reassurance and some pharmacological treatment only. So these are few congenital anomalies. It could uh, lead to cellulitis, mastitis uh, with inflammation, redness and pain, which could lead to abscess and may um, drain spontaneously or may require surgical drainage. And chronic subellular abscesses, there is complete excision of the sinus tract and recurrence is common. And Mondo's disease, there is felbitis or uh, of this thoracoepigastric vein. And uh, if it is seen um, as a developed condition uh, called as a, uh, cancer and cruise, so whole chest wall looks like a shield. So there could be non proliferative lesions like simple cyst and complex. Simple cyst is a unilocular cyst and uh, uh, there is well-defined uh, single um, cavity. Proliferative lesions uh, could happen with or without atypia. There could be ductal hyperplasia, fibrodinoma, and interdictal papilloma. These are the common examples along with sclerosing adenoma. This is one of the type of uh, adenoma. There are various other adenomas that can happen as well. There could be radial scars along with uh, breast disease. And Proliferative lesion with atypia, there is atypical uh, ductal hyperplasia or there could be a lobular atypical hyperplasia. The, the lesions which increases the risk of cancer includes a fibrocystic disease with a painful condition, duct ectasia, which could lead to discharge, solary pap papillomatosis, which causes a single duct discharge, simple fibroadenomas, which can give lumpiness to the breast, mastitis or breast abscesses, and, and the breast abscess uh, could lead to pus, pus discharge from the skin. There could be galactoseals, which are found after lactation, and fat necrosis of the trauma and lipoma is could be a single lipoma or could be a pass of the Durgham's disease which gives to lipomas in all the parts of the body. Mastalgia could be cyclic or non-cyclic. The patients are advised to keep a breast sprain diary and especially in relation to the period. So tumors and masses, there could be nodular or it could be glandular and uh, lumpiness could be like fine nodularity or, or coarse nodules. It could be cysts, could be a single cyst, could be bilateral cyst, or could be multiple cyst. And um, cystic uh, swellings which developed after the uh, lactation is, is galactoseal. 
اٹ کوڈ بی اے ہیماٹومس ٹیسٹ کنڈیشن اور سسٹو سارکوما فیلوئڈیز اور فیلوئڈیز ٹیمر کین آلسو ہیپ دس از اے فلو چارٹ آف ہاؤ ٹو ڈو اے بایوپسی اینڈ میموگراف اینڈ دیز آر فیو لوکیشنس آف ڈفرینٹ ڈیزیزز ان ریلیشن ٹو دی بریسٹ لابل اسٹرکچرس دس از دی فلو چارٹ فار مینیج So if there's a nipple discharge, it could be a white discharge, or it could be abnormal discharge, or it could be bloody discharge, or it could be white discharge, or it could be pussy discharge. And in, on the basis of discharge, uh, things can be divided and managed accordingly. Hope you have enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions or queries, let me know, and we can discuss those things in detail. Thank you very much.